Oh, oh good. Is the overnight just, French toast ready? Take, take that thing out of the oven. I might have to do it a little bit more. Christina, I thought for sure you would have baked some soda bread since you want this big baking kit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, <I can laughs> did you have other things to do? I can't even imagine. Back and, back and okay. leave today. What time is your flight? Four. It's at four? Yeah. Your flight's at four? Christina, look at this. Wow. That's so pretty. You won that? Yes. Uh, producer. Okay. Yeah. I feel a little naked. That's that open like neck line. Yeah, I need to Please wear a t-shirt under it. I didn't yesterday either. You did? Oh, Jack. Do we look like you could see us? Uh, I think so. Okay. Screenwriter. They're not here. They called in sick. They're here. The screenwriter. Union representative. Jack. Johnny Cochran. Here. He died. Keeping me out of trouble. <laughs> Light man. Check. Sound man. Check. Boogie. Check. Five, four, three. Live from Kahuna City, New Jersey. The true inspiration behind the B-52's Love Shack. And where our Kahuna City Deli makes the best BLT in the world. Bread lightly toasted. Chelsea Yards is proud to present Chelsea Pearls. Hi. Hi, I'm Christina, <laughs> and I'm Miriam, and we are the Chelsea Pearls. We don't say that. We never say that. We Your never hair say looks it. awesome. Oh, thank you. I chopped it off. It looks really good. I chopped it. I was just feeling like you know, everyone has it shorter lob these days. <laughs> I really kind of went for it this time, but it looks good. You know, getting prepared for EYF. Uh, envy, envy. You look, yeah, you look extremely hot. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Yep. So we fun. have a lot of contact, uh, uh, content, content, which we never have. Appa yeah, we never have. Apparently, Miriam and I both did show notes at the same time, so this should be interesting, oh. right? Because yes. it'll be fun. <laughs> I'm like, what do I have here? And oh we have gosh. gifts, and we have things, Prize. and we have projects, and we have foes. This is not my foe, but Evelyn did it for us. This is the Weekender, which looks great. Um, it's so comfortable. It's, I wore it yesterday, all day, to the shop. It's so comfortable, it's, and uh, Nice and Knit Girls did, when they podcasted last before uh, Vogue, they did their Weekender using DK and Mohair, and I died, and I saw yes. her wearing it, and of course we had to knit up a sample because it was really nice. So, this is Chelsea Lux Rustic DK in First Snow, and the Au Natural uh, mohair. mohair. I keep doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Any special reason? I don't know. It was like... <laughs> <laughs> so... I'm working on my hat. This is my uh, train hat yesterday and I ripped it out and started over. I'm What's the name of works. the hat? So the hat pattern is Wood Smoke uh, by Magpie Fibers. Uh -huh. And the yarn is Hub City in her Commando colorway. I don't I like remember that. what the base is. I had her it bulky my, base. Is it her bulky base? She's on my flight. Is she? Tonight. Oh my yeah. gosh, that's such and fun. And Yan is actually on my flight on the way back. Oh, so that's so be neat. Fun. Yeah. But, yeah, she's um, on my flight. <laughs> so. I love that. I do too. I'll I link really that like the color. But uh, the hat called for four inches of ribbing. I did my four inches of ribbing and then four inches beyond the ribbing. And I got down to, I had about 10 yards of yarn left. And it was like, uh, yeah, this is not going to work. Mm -hmm. So I went back. You know how you knit faster mm -hmm. when you're running out of yarn? Mm -hmm. As if that's going to make the yarn last longer. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. It just makes it go faster. But I ripped back to two inches because I figured I don't need a folded brim. Right. So I'm hoping if I can get it to seven inches, I'm at about six. You've had some, so yeah. another inch, and I'll start my decreases, and hopefully I'll have enough to get through the decreases. I have um, a bit left. Oh, I thought you just had that tail. I was like, no, what? I got, I got this, so I think, I, I think I'll be okay. And there's a, you know, a little bit of tail here if I really need it. So it should be fine, but this is... Thank God it's on size 10 needles and it goes yeah. quickly. Because I would have had this finished on the train on the way home from New York yesterday. 
were it not for the fact that I was gonna run out of yarn and it was like I think you'd be stop. fine this time I think this this time will work out also mm hmm so I've been documenting it on Instagram and I'm sure people are like what the hell is wrong with her she doesn't post anything on Instagram for months and like three times in one day I gotta look at pictures of this hat <laughs> why not but I was chronicling my uh, hat journey no, I love it I love it I it's really, really pretty yeah I think I like the good. color I do commando. too commando she's so funny I think that's from her uh, nude collection oh she's so <laughs> I love Actually, that. I'd like a whole Hope sweater so. in command. That would be really pretty. That would be a pretty one. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's my hat story. My That's my whip. Okay. And then my other whip, we're still whipping through this one. What is it? You don't look... Oh, it's the... It's the over easy. Yeah. I think I have it this time. Yeah. I think I see. I saw Christine Higgins. She did, Well, she. I heard she was here on Friday, and she. She. Uh, she's all closed up and everything. Now. Okay, I went back. I added length. She did too. And I think I might need to add a little more depth to the armhole. I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna take it, I'm working on the front. I think I'm gonna take the front another inch and then pull back the back and add another inch to that. And then I think that should be it. Just pick up the sleeves and hopefully- I love that color I too. will be done. I love it too. You know, I love my grays. My mm -hmm. grays and my pinks. Grello. Yes. I am working on my no frills, so I plan on finishing the body, just easy knitting. Are you I, gonna take it with you? I'm taking it with me, yeah. And I'm also um, <sighs> casting on the, what for the soul don't uh, the soul don't. No, I can't pronounce it. The new Caitlin the new Hunter Caitlin sweater. Hunter. <laughs> so <laughs> Kathy, I was talking to Kathy I forget, the other day, and I think it might have been Friday, and. We were, you know, laughing and giggling because she's coming to EYF on Wednesday. So is Heather coming too, or just Kathy? No, Heather's Heather's working, oh. and she's a little upset. She's like, all the cool kids are going, but I have to oh, work. Wait. I have to work too. <laughs> I feel your pain, Heather. I do. So uh, it was really funny. She, we hang up, and then she calls me back, and she's like, "Wait, I knew I was calling you for something." She said, "I wanted to tell you, you have to." cast on for Caitlin's new sweater. And I was like, but I wasn't planning on it. She said, no, 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 you have to cast on. She's like, it takes four skeins of yarn, it's four colors, four skeins in your size. She's like, you must cast on. So then she, tell, she proceeds to tell me that I should bring this on my trip to Edinburgh. Okay. 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 So you know me with counting and talking and was she crazy? There's a lot of that going on because it's all pattern. It's, it's all, all color work it's all, all the way stuff, through. It's right? So, so of course, I'm thinking, all right, all right, I, I'm yes. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So now I'm obsessed. Because Friday colors? I was dying. Like, what colors am I going to do? Because now let's add more stress to the, to the pants. I see this pile here. So I dyed up oh, wait. these four. Oh. So this is like a chocolate brown. That's gorgeous. A favorite leather boots. Our new teal. <gasps> and then a peach, peaches and cream. So... I have my you do. Sultana. I forgot the pizza soup. Crap. Oh. <laughs> oh, the, oh, we got it. We, the pizza we peel. need the pizza yeah. peel. So these are the four colors. I'm really excited about that. That's so, gonna be gorgeous. I, was, I wasn't going to, I was originally going to do these three with a brown. Okay. And then use this lighter one, but you know how, you guys know how I love favorite leather boots, so it needs to be in the sweater. That's and really I really gorgeous. think it pops. So I love it. So that's what we'll be winding up that's be before, before we go. That's a kit? Yeah, well, that's I'll have kits have to for be. the wool walk <laughs> if I finish it. Yeah. So, you know, we'll do that. So I'm really excited about that. So that's what I'll be doing today. That's what you're doing today, in yeah. addition to packing. And in addition to packing, I'm going to swatch. Apparently, it's on a three and a five needle. So, not like I don't have needles at home. But just in case, but grab just, some more. I just I'm I'm for the gingers. The gingers. In the three, the five, and the 524. Because Caitlin's sweaters always start with smaller, smaller. amount of stitches. In and the, I'm bigger. talking like Caitlin, like I know her. <laughs> Wait, you know, I have a picture with her from you Vogue. Do. So we can we're, insert we're close that. there. Your BFFs. So I have the, you know, and this is also, you know, that I'm getting gauge. Mm. 
But usually on DK at five, I should be okay. Yeah. So, so. I'm, I'm, I'm banking on the fact that I'm getting gauge. Well, I have to get gauge. Even if I don't, I'm You're getting gonna get sweater, gauge. right? So that's that. Yeah, that's kind of what happened with this, just saying. Right. right. So before yeah. I left, so this morning, I, all week long, uh, Meg told me about this podcast. And I always see other people talking about other podcasts on their channel. And I found this podcast through Meg, and I am in love. And it's called Tales from Cuckoo Land. And her name is Gaina, and I'm obsessed with her podcast. For the month of March, she has a video every day that she uploads. And she lives, I'm not sure exactly where she lives, but it's in the, in the countryside of England. And just going about her day, they're about 15 minutes long, 20 minutes, they're not long at all. Just like a she, little vlog? A little vlog style. She bakes, she sews, she knits. She has kids that she brings to school and back. It is just, I don't know if it's the fact that it reminds me of when I lived in, in London and, and how nice it was, I don't know, but I love it. You guys have to check her out. I'll link it below. You have to watch it. I will. So she made hot cross buns this week. Yeah. So of course, Meg was like, <laughs> we're making hot cross buns. So she must think, Gaina must think we're crazy because the two of us are tagging her in a post with hot cross buns. And then I made more hot cross buns. And then she's telling Meg that we need cheddar cheese for Fridays, for Thursdays. Oh my gosh. So of course we run out and get cheddar cheese and we made cheesy feet biscuits. And we've been cooking and baking up a storm all week. Mind you, I'm getting ready for like five upcoming huge shows and packing, but I'm managing to throw in my baking. Well, see, now Red Bank Mike and I were kind of hoping there would be some soda bread since it's St. Patrick's Day and you've been doing all this bacon, yeah. right? I never yeah. made soda bread. Well, time to learn. Well, we can yeah. do it when I get back. <laughs> but the hot cross buns came out really good and I redid the recipe. Uh, when did I redo it then? Friday. And they were super good. So I'm it was a new recipe. Think. When I had hot cross buns as a kid, there was something in that that I raisins? didn't like. I like raisins. It was those other things. Oh, the you dried those... fruit? I didn't yeah. put that in there. Yeah, okay. See, I would like that. I didn't put that Although in some there. dried fruit I do like. I don't know. Maybe I just didn't like it when I was a kid. I didn't put the dried fruit. I think the Entenmann's ones, growing up as a kid, they always had the dried fruit. I didn't really like that, but I didn't put them in um, the recipe. And TJ's not too fond of the raisins sandy by the lakeside i had sent her a message saying you in you want to bake so she said we don't like raisins in the house <laughs> <laughs> so she sent like a green oh. face it was really funny oh. mm -hmm. so see i do like raisins actually we had delicious soda bread at work um mm. one of the teachers made it from scratch and she soaked her raisins in jameson's oh yeah so the a lot of people do the that. raisins soaked for a couple days so we were joking that we were just gonna you know pick out the raisins Seriously. and eat them and she'd come back to find the loaf devoid of raisins <laughs> get a little buzz on we're, whilst we're just a little school. we're just a little wild whilst wild. whilst very good so i was watching this morning really fast another thing uh for those going to eyf if you you haven't left already chris, chris is there Christy's video yes. is on this morning and I was watching it and it's last minute tips and Cece was on it. So Hoda and Hoda and it was really cute and Cece ha always has great tips. This is her third year going and they linked um, a lot of the places below or talked about them. So if you are going to EYF and haven't left yet, you should watch it. Although by the time this comes out, it's already EYF. Thursday. So it's already on, right? But she um cc is there she's going to be speaking at eyf and she's also starting a new youtube channel so yes, if you don't her travel her travel i can't um, wait for yeah, that so if, make sure you follow her if you don't already and then she'll be uploading the video uh, uh she'll let you know her channel name so you could subscribe um I know we're not She's supposed to say She's creative CC on CC. Instagram. I'll link that also below. I keep touching my hair, so sorry guys, but it's like in my face. It's so sparkly clean. <laughs> so um, that was good. She, they had a lot of hints and stuff. Uh, Andrea Mowry, I know, is releasing two new patterns. Two new patterns. Two. Yes. Oh one, the gosh. one that she just released, I just saw, she didn't release it yet, but it's releasing on Thursday, is in Le BME's new uh, yarn. 
in that she yellow might. brick road colorway. Oh. Just saying, I might have to get that. And I want that Eden bag. I, and you were so funny. I'm not going to buy another bag. I'm like, uh-huh. When I saw that, you I were saw, like, uh, yeah. What was the first one that came out? The drawstring or was it a zipper in the this, tartan? The drawstring. And it was just like, oh. I really right, like right, that. Right, right, right. Because I like that. That's that one skein you have of spin cycle. It was like yeah, the lace. Yeah. And it's like, that reminds me of the Black Watch tartan. And it's like, oh. I love that. It was so when I saw the bag, it was like, yeah. When I saw the Eden bag this I morning, was I was like, like yeah. What am I going to do? And then she sends me a DM. She's like, oh, you're te so you're telling me you're not buying this? I said, no, I am. <laughs> I really am. So Andre, Andre had sent me a message too. So I think everyone wants that bag. Oh, so that's gonna be a hot I probably one. won't be able to get it, but you know, she it's may always have more later thinking. though. Cause didn't she do that? Did no. she do that last year or it was specifically for no. the show? So the whole U S the, the crew last year that went, went at 10 o'clock. And we unfortunately flew in and got off the plane and I, drove right to the corn exchange and missed all oh. the Eden bags. So, but this year I managed to get one. Remember we got one in the update? Yes. So we were I good. got my cats with uh, glasses, my little hipster cats. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. And I got the, I don't know. And then someone was selling one and I wound up buying that one. So, uh, yeah. I... I I think that two bags may have accidentally jumped into my... Really? Yes. Two? A, a fat squirrel bag. Oh, when? Friday night? Yes. I just so happened to watch her podcast and she said she was doing a 9 o'clock update and it was 9.41 when I finished watching. So let me just see if there's anything left. Oh my left. god. Yeah, there always so, manages to be a few left. I got a cute little bag with foxes from the fat squirrel and then... There was a Tanny Casey bag. <gasps> I love her stuff. I know. Yeah. And I kept watching it. And it's like, oops, still there. I have a lot still of Still there. I love them. They're still so there. Well it was like. <laughs> it, it's calling your name. I was like, okay, that's yeah. it. It's still there. So it's meant for me to have. Speaking of bags, we got a gift. What? Yeah, we, well, we actually got two gifts. Stop it. Yeah. Well, and Red Bank Mike got something too, oh, but not in this. Is post. it a medium? Oh, really? It's a, oh my God. So I posted the picture of him eating the hot cross bun and someone goes, he is a true size medium. <laughs> so. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's for you. And let's read Stop the card. It. I love her. It's for my friend Christine. Yes. And she does, she lives in Germany, but I always ship her packages someplace else. So that's why I always get confused. So it says, hi, Christina. I hope you like the lip gloss. Ooh, thanks for all your help with my yarn selection. It's so much easier having you to check and see if it's a good match. Too bad we don't have stores like yours in Europe. Enjoy the notion spouse. One is for marrying your podcast partner in crime. She's so cute. Thank you so much, Christine. Oh my God. And you remember she made us the yes, uh, beautiful. Marilyn. They're so well made. Stop it. Aren't they gorgeous? I this love it. This is clearly it. me, and this must be you. Can you see these? I love it. Love Hold it. On, get out the pizza peel. Love it. <laughs> I can't even. I'm dying. Oh my gosh. This I love is them. So She's adorable. so adorable. I can't. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Watch out. Uh -oh. What is that? Oh. Stop <laughs> it. Oh my God. <laughs> what is that? Three lip glosses. Three. You're so funny. Oh, oh my hold gosh. on. We need the bag. We need the thing. Do you need the bag? You need pizza the peel. Really the pizza peel. You need the pizza peel. And this is great. It's got little pockets inside. Love. Oh, <laughs> There's the pizza peel. So she got me three Armani lip glosses. Oh my just what god. You needed some lippy stuff. Yes, just what I wanted. Just some I lippy. love them. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. That was so cute. That was. Oh my so cute, gosh. so I'll pack those with me. Yeah. Now the next one. Oh my gosh, there's more. Yes. Stop. It's from Sweet Skein of Mine. We, we're, we did a swap. Okay. So I sent her some stuff and she sent me. So I'll link all her details below. I love her packaging and her colors and everything. It says, Dear Christina, I hope you enjoy your goodies and thank you so much for being up for a swap. I've enclosed yarn for you that I used to make the Kylo shawl and your bracelet. I've also included a treat that I dyed especially for you and Miriam. Mm. I couldn't forget about Red Bank Mike. So the Canadian chocolate treats are for him. I thought they were for me. <laughs> happy knitting Whoa. and happy podcasting. Love all you girls. Had 
have to share. Love, Amanda, sweet skein of mine. Visiting your yarn shop is on my bucket list, hoping in the near future. Oh, that would be oh, great. Oh, 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 sweet skein. This says RBM. Oh, look at right there. And I'm so jealous because yeah. I love Smarties oh, and look at Coffee, coffee Crisp. Crisp. Oh, nice. this is so cute. Oh, yes. Smarties. Nice. This is going to go really well with my little double espresso in a few. Thank you so yeah. much, Breakfast Amanda. Breakfast champions there. Thank you. And look this is gorgeous. in her color oh, mold wine in her merino base. And oh. that's for the Kyler. That'll oh, be beautiful. Let's get, Let's get the Corrado Pizza Peel sponsored by Corrado Lark. Here, I got it. <laughs> Look at that color, isn't this that is so, so pretty? Very... And then, oh my goodness, she dyed us. Let's see. Oh, crinkling, yeah! Oh, crinkling. It's to okay. the pearls. Should I, should I? I think a little crinkle is okay. A little, you sure? Yeah, I, I think so. I'll okay. do it fast, hold on. One, two, three. Like ripping the Band-Aid off. <laughs> Here, you wanna open? I do. Oh my goodness, look at this! <gasps> oh, uh, my pizza god. Peel, oh my god, pizza peel and look at Wait, and gummies! Yes. Oh my look god, I love gorgeous. them. Pizza peel, I'm ready, I'm ready. I love them. Wait, it's not. Is it not focusing still? I don't still? know. Uh, I need a new camera. I really think? don't, but I love it. It's called That's... the Pearls! What? Stop look it! At that. Oh, I oh love my gosh. It. <gasps> Look at this, the pearls, that's beautiful. And you get two little treats and I get two little Yay. gummies. And she also had this in her um, shop. Oh, look Isn't how that really that is. cute? Yes. And it says yarn snob. It's a little bracelet. It's a sterling silver oh, that's bracelet. It's probably never gonna show, but whatever, I'll try. It's not showing. Pizza peel? Pizza peel. Isn't that cute? It's all good. Thank you so much. I'm so yes, excited. thank you. I love it. I'll take photos. Oh my goodness. Tremendous. I love it. So I had a bit of luck. You I did. won um, a contest on Instagram. Don't they say luck of the Irish? <laughs> Maybe. A little early for our St. Patrick's Day luck. But so I love this. This is my prize. It's from Beach Bum Yarns. She's out of Massachusetts. Her name is. Gina. I don't know her. She's actually, she's got yarn out at Stephen B right now. Oh, cool. And she has the best packaging. I'm doing a little crinkling myself here. Oopsie. Look at her packaging. How crazy is this? She's beach bomb yarn. Oh, wow, And it cute. says, in the vast sea, don't overlook the little fish. Shop small. Oh, cute. And it's got the whole beach theme going. She needs a kahuna. She does need a kahuna. <laughs> right, oh, my babe? goodness. But oh, look at this. It. So, ooh, that's super squishy. It's so, so pretty. So this is her, she's Beach Bum Yarn on Etsy, and this is her Santa Cruz sock base, and this is Hubba Bubba Mama, was it Hubba Bubba Mama Do? Number two. Number two, and this is Hubba. Number one. Okay, it's a duo. With Brio it's a Brio duo. duo. So here we go, I love it. I love Hubba it. Hubba Bubba Mama Duo Two. And one. I love it. It's so pretty. I look feel. Ooh, right? really squishy. It's a nice base. So I can't wait to figure out what to do with this. This is really so nice pretty. and squishy. And she also enclosed a little bar of lavender soap and a lovely note congratulating me and hoping that I enjoy my yarn. Aww. So she's at Beach Bum Yarns out of Massachusetts. So she's cute. On Etsy. Yay. Yay. Oh, I have one more. Yes? Yes. Do you know what it is? It's March Mayhem. Do you do March Mayhem? No. Okay, so March Mayhem is Mason Dixon oh, knitting. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So the first, I guess, so Mason Dixon knitting, they've gone through patterns new to Ravelry this year, mm -hmm. paid for patterns, and they picked 64 patterns. They mm -hmm. have four categories, cardigans, pullovers, neck and shoulders, head and hands, and there's 16 in head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Yes! <laughs> Sorry. It's okay, it's all good. It's all good. Come on, so, I, got, I have notes, come on so, now. I'm trying, to be, I'm trying to be organized and professional here, you're killing me. 
<laughs> okay, every time you say head, head shoulder, and shoulders, I, know. I can't. I have it's like it's like it's kindergarten comes yeah, right back. It totally does. So <laughs> But um so they have sixteen entries in each category. Voting begins on March twenty first. You vote for the top eight in each category and they narrow it down till they have a winner in each category. And then it's in early April that they decide the overall winner. And the nifty thing is, um, if you go to their website, they give you links, the Ravelry links to the pattern. They give you a picture of the pattern. Oh. They explain why they chose that particular pattern and you have the link to Ravelry. So you can see the uh, details on the pattern. You can see how many how cool. there are, which is really neat. And there's some, you know, there's some favorites of ours in there, like the Sipple is in there. I saw that, because um, she said I made it in the bracket. I didn't know what that means, I have to say. And, and Hohe said it, I made it in Hohe's the bracket. Hohe's Elton the, is in El there. Elton, yeah, um, Denise right. Bayron's Cardi Zen is in oh, there. Oh, I want to do that. I want to do that, too. Yeah. I'm thinking I might need you to dye me some favorite leather I'll boots do it. for that We one. should wear that for Rhinebeck. That would be a great Rhinebeck sweater. sweater. And speaking of sweaters, we definitely, I think, I really want to cast on for... Um, what I'm pointing over I know, there. Is that like what? <laughs> Bridget's sweater. Oh, Roy G. Bibb. Mm -hmm. Amanda was Amanda. doing it. Amanda. She was, doing it. was wearing hers at Vogue, Vogue. when I saw her. Uh -huh. And it was, people were stopping her, asking her. Bridget. Where did mm -hmm. you get that? You want to show your sweater? You guys are going to die. Wait till you see it. No. Die. Hold on. Look you at your t-shirt. You I have to get one of those. You, you want to come in? in and show it? You don't have to if you don't want Here, to. Let me. Oh, it's look sick. at this. Oh my gosh. You guys, look at it's this. Sick. Can you see this? Look at the lot. So this is all Amanda Solomon. Amanda and Alex, or I think it's Amanda. She's fun. Amanda and Alex. Oh, and Alex. And Chelsea. And here's some Chelsea. I love, Look at I'm this. dying. Should we show the front? Here, you turn it around. Okay. I'll take this. Turn it around. Look at so this. So this is Roy G. Biv. And look at the sleeves. I'm dying. This is I a, told her this should be her Rhinebeck sweater. Yeah, it definitely should be. Is this a knit collage pattern? It's just no. Not, it's not? Park, uh, park, 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 park knit, park, park knit. city knits or something. Mm -hmm. Park. I'll link it below. This is gorgeous. I look at that gold. I know. So now, See, we need that. I have of. Amanda Solomon yarn that I want to um, use for something else, but I was thinking of asking her to maybe dye colors like fun, bright ones like that, and then you, huh? My shirt. Oh yeah, Brooklyn Boy knit. I know. She's I wearing her Brooklyn. One of those. I guess, didn't you get one of Vogue? No. Oh, you didn't. No. Oh, I'm sorry. That's I got okay. one of Vogue. He's got them on his website. I was yeah. just there the other day checking because he's got a new pin also. Oh, he so does? I, I didn't see that. Actually, yes, he's got two new pins now. I didn't see. Mm, he's got two new pins on his website and the up. shirts as well. I know. He's like everywhere. I did. Yeah. This morning, uh, I was watching Christie's tour of his craft room. Oh, my God. It I was really it. nice. It was a short video. It's cute. Aw. But, yeah. Branch. So, in any case, there are a lot of interesting patterns. I... Um, felt the need to buy some patterns that I was unfamiliar with and it was fun to see patterns that I had purchased like oh to see. I'm going to look. So where is that on Mason Dixon's blog? It's yes, you go to what is it, Mason Dixon Dixon dot com. Dot com. Okay. And it's all there. Um I really like I follow them on Instagram and it's neat because you can click the link and it takes you to another link that you can click on and bring up the post associated with the picture, okay. which is a nice way of keeping track of what's going on. Cool. But I'm really excited. I voted last year. And so I'm excited to see the outcome of this year. But it was neat to say like, oh, I know that person, or oh, I have that pattern. That's cool. Yes. So that was my, uh, my contribution, my public service announcement PSA? there. Yep, that's cool. it. PSA. PSA. So, yeah. Do we have anything new to talk about? Well, we just did. Oh, this is true. For 25 minutes. So okay. they, they got content. They this did get content. This is what they come here for. <laughs> this is what Are they Are you want. walking away more informed? <laughs> we give content and then she says, is there any? 
else we should talk about. I don't we know. We just talked for 25 minutes about pure content. We're good now. We're Are good for sure? two more free podcasts. That's it? Now we can we be ridiculous have, again? We can be ridiculous for the next hour if oh we want to. It was like, we were all good and serious and now we're good. Now all the wheels can fall off the bus. Right? I'm telling you. Yeah, you can't take me anywhere. <laughs> Rebek, Mike, we've been so talking if he hasn't even spoken because yeah, he doesn't even about, know what we're talking about. We were talking about knitting. We were <laughs> talking about It was like a knitting podcast. Right, Who right, knew? Right. Who knew the Chelsea Pearls was a knitting the podcast? podcast. Yeah, we were informational? Wow. Yes. Right. We had we had information. We sounded like we knew what we were talking about. Damn. This is like... Say show notes. That's the yeah. thing. Red Bank Mike, we need right. the show notes. You know what, right, though? Well, we'll... For the last couple of weeks, we, we haven't had anything to put in the show notes. <laughs> There was nothing up there. It was a little fluffy and uh, we were a dusty. little fluffy. Oh, you know, I had so much fun in the city yesterday. Yeah? Yeah, except for the train ride. Never... That's a little shady. Well, you yeah. know what it was? It was St. Patrick's Day yeah. parade was yesterday. Yeah. Which I didn't realize when I planned That's like my trip in. That's a rookie do. mistake. Yeah. It was a total rookie mistake. Yeah. And it was, I mean, it was okay. I just felt bad for the people on the train with young children because the F-bomb was flying. There was drinking and... It's like SantaCon. Um, it's the same kind of thing. Probably. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Well, I'm crinkling. Well, that trip. was it. <laughs> One of my friends who's a non-knitter, she said, I just saw you're in New York. Don't let anyone peek on your knitting mm. on the train. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm making Mariah sit on the aisle. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Is that why you did that to me? <laughs> Ew. I switched places with her eventually when yeah. things calmed down. But yeah, it was like, oh my gosh, my knitting. I, Can I you had to have someone a, puked on it. That I would have done. It was just, and I was like so obsessed with having knitting to bring with me. Like I have to have knitting. I've reached that point where if I don't have my knitting for something like the train ride, I don't know what to do with myself. I don't either, and I'm on my phone. Apparently, I was down 11% last week, so I'm very proud of myself. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, let's a little, a little Yay. Bit. Yeah, 11%. That's excellent. What do you have, a paper towel on his head? Is that it? <laughs> Where, what museum did you go to? The uh, Whitney. We went to the Whitney. That apparently, so I didn't have yeah. a size six needle. So I texted her, I need a six 12 inch. So I didn't have one, okay, because we're out in the store. So Leslie calls every shop around. No one has 12 inches. And then she calls, you know. Annie and Aunt, No, uh, all the, um, uh, AC Moore and all the other stores. They don't even know what she's talking about. No, they about. don't do that. So she calls, she's like, where's the Whitney? So I said, it's on the Upper East Side. Wait. So, because I lived on the Upper East Side, I lived on 69th and 3rd. So I was like, yeah, the Whitney's on, uh, like in the 50s, right? So we call Annie and Company. I'm like, that's the Upper East Side. She can go there, get a needle. So then, as I'm texting you, I'm Googling the Whitney to find out where it was. Because I said, oh, you could just walk like two blocks past or whatever. Apparently, the Whitney mu moved from 53rd Street to uh, the it's meat a beautiful packing district. building. And I didn't, and, and like, that was like five or six years ago. I didn't even know. Yeah. Can uh, you it, imagine? It was lovely, but we're walking and I'm thinking, hmm, Chelsea, all right, in the meat packing district, I'm not on the east side like I thought. Right, 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 right. It was all good. It so was that's when I was like, never mind. <laughs> it was a good walk, though. And I found one. Where? In my bag. I probably took it, think, like two weeks ago, being organized. Thinking, I'm going to need this. Mm -hmm. That's so funny. Yeah. So I That's took so it. That's so funny. Yeah. yeah, so Warhol exhibit was good. Check. We did a brief walk on the High Line. Cool. It was a nice day, right? No, it was yeah, windy. It was windy. It was, windy. Uh, it was bitter. We didn't last long on the High Line. Friday was really nice, though. Friday was Friday gorgeous. Friday was like 80 degrees. Oh, that's great, right? Yeah. Cool. High Line is really cool. We yeah. want to go back so Mariah can take pictures. We're going to go back when it's in bloom mm -hmm. and it's not quite so windy. Yeah. Because that was a, a lot of fun. It was yeah. a good walk. I got my exercise in, so I felt okay. justified in eating donuts. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> All right, well, I have to go because I have to go home and pack and edit the podcast so that TJ can upload it on Thursday for me. So that's the goal. Oh my gosh. Well, good luck with that. I Thank think you. we were pretty good. I don't I think, think we there's were. much to be edited. No, out. We there's no be shenanigans. Okay. We might be able to do this full through. Red Bank Mike was so quiet. He hasn't said anything naughty. <laughs> I'm sure our viewers will be very bummed because they always say in the comments, 
But I think Mike's so quiet today. <laughs> well, I didn't want to. You know, screw it up. You were just gonna. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. <laughs> that would have done it. That would have done it. But last week. What? Seriously, I'm I'm doing I'm coming up with a special project, and last week I took footage from that special project for the special project because when when we when I said something that just blurred out, oh, but it wasn't yeah, even yeah. like intentional. It was like accident because whatever, and you said that you couldn't recover. I still like if I ever want to laugh if I'm ever in a bad mood I'm going to watch that part because it, you were like I can't I don't know if I'm gonna recover I can't I don't think I can I'm like you have to they're watching oh my god it was so good oh my goodness so yes well, so have um, a wonderful trip yes if you guys place orders Red Bank Mike is filling them right yeah he's yep. on it that's what he's doing yeah yeah in between uh yeah. Blowing up my blow up doll. Oh God, <laughs> please. <laughs> so I'm getting prepared. We're doing a trunk show at Nitty City. And then we have the New Jersey Wool Walk. Walk. Then we have Allentown Fiber. Fiber Festival. And then we're super excited for the pop-up shop at the Knot House. I am so excited. Mm -hmm. So she's going to put tickets to that on her, uh, if you follow her on Instagram, she'll keep you posted as soon as she comes back from EYF. That's what okay. she said. So make sure you follow her on Instagram to find out uh, where you could get the tickets for the early bird. Otherwise, after the early bird, you can come at yeah, general? general admission. Mm -hmm. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I have to. Um, and you don't have to pay. It's just you would buy the early bird tickets. I have to check on the uh, standardized testing dates. I thought I checked and I was in the clear. I think it starts the following week, so I could take off that Friday because mm -hmm. I don't want to miss anything. That mm -hmm. would be bad. Yeah. You know, you never know. Yeah. FOMO. FOMO. Total FOMO. All right, guys. All right, so. Bye. 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 See you next week. Yes. You say bye? Are you waving to? Cracks in the way. <laughs> You're gonna get a bobble doll? <laughs> yeah. What? yeah. I want the bobble doll so badly. <laughs> oh, my neck just cracked. Oh. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, bye. All right. Okay, bye. Um, okay, bye. Oh. We have to ship orders. I need a double espresso. Okay, go get one. Woody, what's up?